Hello friends, today we came with a new video on the topic glycolysis. Glycolysis in which glyco means glucose and lysis means splitting. In this, a glucose which is a carbohydrate source is converted into the pyruvate which is a non-carbohydrate source. One molecule of glucose is converted into two molecules of pyruvate. As we know, it is a catabolic process. It is a pathway which takes place both in the aerobic as well as the anaerobic respiration. It is also called as the EMP pathway given by the two scientists Ambedon and Mayerhoff. It takes place in the cytoplasm of both the prokaryox as well as the eukaryox. Prokaryox includes the bacterial cell and eukaryox include both plant and the animal cell. So let's begin with the glycolysis. Glucose, a 6 carbon sugar is converted into glucose 6 phosphate with the help of enzyme hexokinase. We use word hair kinase when we add a phosphate group. In this ATP is converted into ADP and this phosphate is taken by the glucose molecule. Next, a glucose 6-phosphate is converted into fructose 6-phosphate with the help of enzyme phosphohexoisomerase. Because glucose 6-phosphate and the fructose 6-phosphates are isomers of each other. It is also a 6 carbon sugar. Fructose 6 phosphate is then converted into fructose 1 6 by phosphate. With the help of enzyme phospho fructose kinase. We use the word kinase here because one more phosphate molecule is being taken from ATP which is converted into ADP. Now, a 6 carbon sugar fructose 1 6 by phosphate with the help of enzyme azolase, azolase is converted into dihydroxy acetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde B phosphate. Glyceraldehyde B phosphate. These both are the two car free carbon sugars which are isomers of each other. They get converted into each other by the enzyme triose phosphate isomerase. Glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is then converted into 1,3-bi-phosphoglycerate with the help of enzyme glyceraldehyde 3 
यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ द फॉस्फेट ग्रुप and converted into 1,3 biphosphodiesterase. Then it is also a reversible process. Then it is converted into 3 phosphodiesterase. It get converted into 3 phosphodiesterase by the enzyme phospho. glycerate kinase here it is a energy conserving process so atp is produced from adp one phosphate molecule from 13 biphosphoglycerate is taken by the adp molecule which get converted into the atp and 13 phosphoglycerate which is further converted into two phosphoglycerate by the enzyme phosphoglycerate mutase here word mutase is used because there is just change in the position of the phosphate then it get converted into phosphoenol pyruvate by the enzyme enolase and with a release of the water molecule as in the last step phosphoenol pyruvate is converted into pyruvate molecule with the help of enzyme pyruvate kinase here again kinase is used so a atp molecule is being formed from the adp molecule and which phosphate is given by the phosphoenol pyruvate and this a cycle this cycle converting the glyceraldehyde free phosphate to pyruvate molecule is a energy conserving process energy conserving process and this pathway converting glucose to fructose 16 by phosphate as a energy spending process because atp energy is being used that atp is being produced now dihydroxy one pathway will be formed and another pathway in which dihydroxy acetone phosphate is converted into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate which will again go through this pathway and converted into pyruvate by this it will take this it will convert two pyruvate molecules or it will form two viral pyruvate molecules that is one nadh will generate three atp molecules here two atp molecules are being produced so there is a total of five atp molecules but this pathway go through two times so there is a total of 10 atp molecules which are being formed but there are utilization of two atp molecules so a total of eight atp molecules are being produced it means one glucose molecule will form two pyruvate molecule and there is a release of eight atp energy so thanks for liking and subscribing our channel